Ooh, welcome to the Sunday Fun Day Podcast. Your hangover never sounded so good. My name is Gil Patterson. I'm here with Leslie Ice. And this is the first, this is a historic first, first time on the Sunday Funny Podcast, we are going to have a woman's perspective on all things men. And when I mean men, I'm talking about you trifling, no good, low down, sleeping in back rooms, watching your porno by yourself, men. There are six women in Web3, and all of them are looking at these men because they only want one thing, and it's disgusting. Because you guys have never had sex before. All of you. Disgusting humans down here at Art Basel 2023 have got to be disgusted, just sick. But I'm just messing with you guys. Welcome to the Sunday Funday Podcast. Your hangover never found so good. What's going on, ladies? How you doing? Um, Akil, I really have to make a correction. Yes. Because it's uh, the men only want one thing in Web3, and it's freaking disgusting. What is it that they all want? They want to sleep in our beds. While the women are down here at our Basel, walking down the streets, interviewing the men, mm-hmm. that's what they tell you. They're disgusting. Can They're I disgusting. sleep in your bed tonight? Yeah. They, they, how many try to claw on your bed? I don't know. I don't pay attention to that Do stuff. they slide in your DMs? Absolutely. Oh, my Lord. All right. <laughs> um, Especially uh, Ice's DMs. So, Ice... I, I really don't know you that well. Um, I hope you're having the mimosa. Um, I I know we've got Nikki and Digi over there just won't shut them up. These men. They're, Ru- they're you see how rude they are? Yeah. They're quiet for I know. theirs. I know. It's ridiculous. The difference. Um, so, tell, so tell me, like, Ice, I really don't know you that well. Tell me about how, how your segue into this space. And, and then we'll go to Leslie, who obviously is everyone's boss at Goxie Media. Yes, Mom. Okay, so I'm with <laughs> I'm with Stakianas. I'm okay. the executive assistant with Stakianas. Um, I segued into the space with another project. I started off with the primates, and I've been involved since. Just doing right my on. thing, just getting adapting to the culture and meeting and linking up with good people. Okay, and Leslie, <laughs> um, CEO over there at Goxstein Media, Vice President Senate. Vice President? <laughs> I don't know. I always felt like you were CEO. It's VP of Ops. Oh. Yeah, that too. Yeah, but I don't know the difference. I mean, because you boss them all around. Especially that little Nikki and Digi. Oh, boy, yes. They're like yeah, my kids. Like, uh, little Nikki was a movie. Oh, um, Adam Sandler, where he played the devil. Yeah, Nikki is now David was, Jr. <laughs> and Digi is what? Uh, we're still trying to decide, but he's on his way <laughs> to be the third. Oh, he's going to be the third, the third. So I, I got to ask you ladies, um, you know, the Sunday Funday podcast is the hangover that never sounded so good. And we talk about men and our issues, how we show up in this world. But I think one of the things that I've struggled with is talking about how men are seen by women. Mm-hmm. Now, as somebody that is very fluid in nature and has had a lot of experiences, I can speak from a, an old man perspective, but I can't say that necessarily I agree with everything my, the young men are learning out here, especially when it comes to like how they see themselves, like their self-righteousness, how they, you know, walk around like, like all their body parts are eight inches long and or <laughs> wait, plus. Wait, wait, what do you mean all their body parts? Like, where is that coming from? And well, you is know, that researched? Well, no, like, well, first off, the average um, male member is around, what, like five inches or something here in the United States. It's, we're behind, like, Argentina, Brazil. But are um, you talking about inches in height, not, like, anything else? Or what are we talking about, just to clarify uh, it for the audience? No, we're, we're talking about their, uh, their uh, snuffleupagus arm. <laughs> Most of them don't have snuffleupagus arms. They got oh, oh, micros. Okay. So, but they, but it's the way men carry themselves. Like like they all have the largest. Okay. You know, they just uh, you know. 
What? Why? Why do men? Why do you think men carry themselves like that while women are held to a lesser standard? Like you can't walk around like you're the shit as a woman. Uh, like men are like supposed to be. Yeah. Like even if they're busted, and I know y'all y'all have seen some busted ones out here that think. Why? I think it's about their confidence level and women. I mean, they can only two, and they're like, why can't they? Why can they not? But Just women aren't. It. But women don't. Women women are told that they have well, to what wear kind makeup. Of women are you around? Well, well, first off, I'm only around <laughs> great women. All right, I'm only around great women because women have always uplifted me, especially in my black communities. You know, women uplift men. Like when when homie go to jail, a woman's there to take care of it, yes. right? Mm -hmm. But when I'm looking at this generation now, they talk they talk they talk down to women, right? They look at them as they're less than. When I was always told, like, look, a woman's gonna uphold you, no matter what, like, no matter yeah. what goes down. And and I feel like there's a group of young men there growing up. They're like they just talk down to women, like they're supposed to be doing their laundry and. Like, no, women did that because they couldn't, they were focused on other things at one point. Now it's like, no, they can be CEOs. They can be executives. Um, so why is it that these young men are being taught that? From your perspective, I don't know. Like being taught that. They're the shit. And women are not. <laughs> you know, it could be something from within their home. Mm. The way they are being brought up. I'm not in that household to really tell you, you know, why they're being brought up like that or not. But from my point of view and my perspective and my opinion, you know, I do have a son. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he is part of this generation. And one of the things that we really... Charlie Horse! Oh, keep going. Sorry. Enforced was respecting women, period, no matter what. And I grew up without a father. And because I grew up without a father, to me, it was very important to make sure that he did have a role as a male growing and you know once he does find a lady a wife whatever to make sure to empower that woman to succeed mm. and be there as a supportive male role you know whether she wants to be a ceo whether she wants to be an astronaut whether she wants to be an alien you know whatever she wants mm. to be all right empower and support your woman right on well that's fun all right, let's get less serious now. Would you all date a short man? Yes. <sighs> what? Yes. Yeah, I would too. Yes. I, I'm not going to lie. I date a short one too. Most <laughs> of, well, most of the guys I'm going to meet are going to be mean, short. I mean, if we're talking about women empowering, I mean, men empowering women, then yeah. women empower your or short kings. How short? Not shorter than me. You cannot be shorter than me. So you wouldn't date a short man? Short, like, I'm short, like, right. Right here. So how tall are you? Five three. So you wouldn't date a guy that was five two? No. Mm. Nope. Nope. How, would you date a five? That's a would you would you That's date a five? Would you date a five three guy? I mean, if he looked as hot as her, yeah. She even got a little head. She's like, all right. Ew. I'm not gonna lie, I'd date a five three guy. Well, I don't know. Uh, well, because that guy, I'd pick him up and throw him around. I'm tall. I'm five six, five six, five seven. I think the shortest I probably would go is my height. Mm. Or the, uh, five six, maybe. Yeah. Now, would you date a guy who decided to genetically, or I'm sorry, surgically alter his height? Personally, no. I mean, I already had my kids. I'm not gonna have any more. So yeah. Now, why wouldn't you date somebody that that genetically like they alter their height, like surgically? And it is a real thing. There are yeah. guys out here today that are going Wanna... through this. Yeah, I wanted to become the best version of myself mentally, physically, and spiritually. And for me, that included height. It all started in December in Turkey when Sigurds underwent his first of what will be six surgeries. Surgically cut the bone. They put a rod in it, and they connect the device outside the leg that connects to the rod inside the leg, and you turn a key on it every day for. I don't, I feel like it doesn't align with my values. Like, I don't know, I don't know. In a world or in the times we are, like, mm -hmm. I feel like as a woman, I've been tempted to take that route. So if I deal with somebody who makes those type of decisions, um, I may end up doing the same because mm -hmm. he's the leader at that point. If I'm choosing a man, he's gonna lead. I like so I don't, I don't want to, I personally want to take oh. that route. 
Yeah. I just wouldn't date somebody that decided that um, that was the only way they could get me. Mm -hmm. Like, because I feel like there's also like a little bit of like false branding. Like, what else are you gonna lie to me about? Like, because most likely they ain't gonna tell you that they did it. Correct. You'd be like, what are these? What are these scars on your legs? Like, oh, I, I, I got hurt as a kid. You know, like I know guys who are dwarfs that got it because they were like, yo, I'm trying like. Uh -uh. you know not be a dwarf and I was like you know what I respect that like you just trying to like be able to see over the car with the steering wheel yeah these guys are doing it because like oh I'm 5'7 and I want to be 7 feet I'm like that is weird like you were trying to play and then somebody pointed out uh, their feet do they stretch those out or they still have tiny feet because then they just look weird I hope people are not do you not. think they would have problems like when they're older and they I bet you, you Absolutely. do. Absolutely. With any surgery, I feel yeah. like you have to. Like women that have too big of a chest, they'd be like, Yo, I'm trying to get a reduction at some point. Because they don't get hurt in your back. I mean, if would you date what? A woman that got boobs. The boobs feel good though. The fake boobs don't <laughs> feel as bad as we think. Or a booty. The right ones. The ass. Uh. Would I have dated a woman that yeah, I, I'm a man. I, we're not that picky. Seriously, we're not. You're not that picky when it comes to sex. The sex. sex. But relationships you, different. Relationships, men are like, I want this, I don't want that, I don't yeah. want this, this is yeah. this, because you're building your life at that point. Yeah. And then, yeah, so the vision. But yeah, different. sex is different than. So, you know. Ice left me thinking because she got, she brought up a good point, you know, about like, the values and you know them having the surgery to enhance their body parts so how does that differ like for women getting boobs and booties or altering you know whether it's a nose or i don't know i, don't know. I feel like women we may get left out but we're still gonna get some play a man yeah. who's short He's out here struggling. <laughs> like He's not struggling. <laughs> the, uh, it depending on where he's at emotionally. Depending on where he's at, he may rock it. Because to me, if you're going to be sure, you might as well rock it. Oh, I yeah. Some, I know some people with a great personality. Great that swag. Great and swag. And very handsome men. And I think because yeah. of the personality. Like Skilo. It's just like. He was, he was like, too short. Yeah. He looked, you know. Embrace it. But if you've got the swag, it's totally different. That's why I think men yeah. versus women are like. You could know a, a a woman or you know a chick that's like just yo this chick she she's like a four a ten like she go to a ten because like yo she's just that personality yeah guys like that yo they ain't even got to be cute people just be like drawn to them yep. you know I know some dudes were I mean I will say because I, I competed internationally in wrestling there was this dude. He used to go into the club. He used to tell girls, he's like, look, I got four good inches and eight good minutes. That's all you're going to get out of me. And girls would laugh at it. And he'd take them home. He wasn't even that good looking. So, Akil, who's the ugliest guy on the team? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> Don't leave. He said the Why ugliest. Why he turn red? The ugliest. I don't he, think he that there's the anybody He's ugly. not the ugly. Um, I was kidding. You do, do not here's here's a funny thing. I don't know what Josh Jake looks like, so there he goes. I mean, judge him based on his PFP. The hideous. We can't go with that anymore, Leslie. Hideous. We had this talk. We had this talk with. You can't judge people based off their PFP. At all. No. Yeah, you can't. Because y'all found somebody that thought they was cute on their PFP. You're like, oh, they're going to be cute. And you're like, ooh. Right. Sometimes it is a little bit of a shock. You know, it's you know they look one way in their PFP, and then in person, they look completely different. Of course, you know you're expecting to see a doggy or a mutant or you know, <laughs> right, a flower. And then you actually see a human. So it's it's a shock. And you look at them, you're like, that's not a human. Correct. It's an alien. Yeah. 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 I, listen, I. Hey, Q, I'm like, ooh. Oh, your acne's way worse than I thought. Lord. <laughs> is it, what's that I was expecting to see a little pink. What's that smell wind? coming off of you? Like, is that a pus? Oh, my God. Yeah. Ugh. When did yeah. that happen? Uh, at a Bitcoin conference. 
Eesh. Yeah, like the person, like they had like lesions. So that's Bitcoin, not Web3 then? Not it, yeah, it's all the same to me. Sorry, I just threw it in my mouth. You know, I, I'm going, <laughs> I am not going to lie. Right before we came to uh, the trip, we had Miami. a space where we were talking about men and, you know, mm -hmm. the cologne and them smelling good. And you know how there's like this big stigma in the space like, oh, men don't shower. Yeah, they don't. They're no, a lot of men smelled delicious and mm. yummy. Oh, my goodness. It's like saying really? hi to me. Because yeah. I heard differently from another one of our members she said that they definitely were not smelling good i don't know who she was smelling or where she was and i don't know if it was a bums on the street but the guys that i was saying yeah, there's some good looking bums out there yeah. <laughs> but some of these guys they smelled really good yes okay well if that's the way you think it we're gonna have a space about women and then smelling the men some people <laughs> smelling each other's hair. Oh yes. yes. They were smelling Farouk's hair like Nikki oh was. Nikki's like, I smelled Farouk's hair. That is so strange. I've never <laughs> smelled another man's hair. I've tried. You know the okay, so while we're on I did hair, a Joe Biden. How come said some men have better hair than women? <sighs> hmm. Like they, they're Because they condition her. Condition. I don't know. So do we. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they also got parents, you know, DNA. Genetic, yeah. My, I was bald for years, and my brother had hair. Really? Yeah, when I was a baby, he had like long black silky hair, and I was bald. So men are. Hair Is that when your mom was like, he got the native hair, he got that yes. good hair? You be like, yes. Ugh. And we were twins, so we were born at the same time. So it's like, what happened? Yeah. Like, he just why sucked is this baby up. bald? Was, was he born first? <laughs> Huh? Was he born first? I was born first. Oh. So it's like, what happened? So he's a baby. Yes. But he probably ain't as good looking as you. No. No, he is actually. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a, it's is a, he taller than you? It's a, yeah, he's tall. Ooh. He's like darker than you. Brown eyes. He's like 6'3". Black hair. Yeah. Ooh. Great features. And I'm like, what, 5'2", green eyes? Light, white, You almost. have great features. Oh, you have Thank great features. You're a very you. beautiful woman. Thank but, you. But uh, your brother, though, sounds very uh, intriguing. He's um, very handsome. Does he have a, a wife? No. Nope. Girlfriend? Nope. Just a dog. Two just, of them. Just now. a dog, huh? How just old is two he? dogs. 25. No wife, no, no kids, no... Just a dog. 25, y'all. Super smart. Are you trying to be a cougar daddy? <laughs> that part. And I don't need to be a cougar daddy. Like, just trust me. There's a lot of people attracted to this out there in this world. A lot of them. Stop, by the way, stop hitting up my DMs, you children. It's not a good look. Stop <laughs> sending him those D pics. Oh, speaking of D pics. <laughs> the donut pictures. I don't know what yeah, you're Yeah, those donut thinking. pictures. <laughs> what about dudes that send girls unsolicited pictures? Disgusting. This is what I'm telling you, men only want one. one Thing, and it is truly disgusting. Yes, yeah, sometimes we will be in spaces and they either love our voice, they love what we're saying, and then all of a sudden there's like this D pick in your DMs. And men, when you're sending D pics, I mean, why do you think we're gonna find it attractive if you put jewelry on it or if you put a Wait, ring what? on it? They yes, put I, jewelry on one yes, of yours. I you mean a cock ring? Or whatever it was. Have you ever but seen those so pearls? Good. Oh my gosh. Have you yes. seen Is that a pearls? Prince Albert? No, I was looking at her. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but he was holding The Prince it. Albert is when they put the, 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 the pearls under the skin, right? Oh. Yeah, I saw it. Is that Prince under the, the no, I thought the Prince Albert's when you put the um ring through the No. You can get manhole. pearls under the skin and it'll be right on the shaft. For her pleasure. For her pleasure, yep. Yep. That sounds painful. Yep. Is it painful, men? I've never done it. You gotta look it up. Listen, Nikki, this is it painful? <laughs> yes. I never. Oh, I've, I, I am so. I am so PG thirteen that I'm like, hey, um, my my idea of a freaky night is like missionary style or doggy style. Oh, you know, that's it. <laughs> so you're the boring type. Is that what you're telling us? Well, I'm not boring. I just. Uh, I, I think I'm more in line with um, my conservative. Like I just I you know I was like I've just always been um, limited like sexually 
That's not shy. Limited. No. I guess I was never very adventurous. I'm risk adverse. Were you exposed to? Yeah, no, 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 no. Freak. People are freaks around me. All my friends are freaks. They nasty. I'm like, no, this is not I me. was the same way though. I was the same way for a long time. Really? Like I just, I'm just not. I'm like, all oh, my friends are freaks. And just, just, yeah. There was just no natural. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it maybe with somebody I might want to do, but it's just like I'm not interested in doing some jumping jacks or back bends, and I'm just like. I like to get this done before my next meeting, but that's also because I'm a hustler, so I'm always out here making money. So. Uh, so, okay, wait. So while you're in the deed, that's what you're thinking? Like, hey, I want to get this over and I want to hurry up and rush it for my next meeting? Is that what I just understood? Well, I mean, there's romance time and then there's, let's go. So then you don't enjoy it or what? Don't worry, they're all just doing this because they're bored. <laughs> He needed a drink. They just want to be on camera again and take the, the lady's spotlight. Thank you. Yeah, he needed a drink. That's why. Um, Passenger Prince, can you guys come and sit behind us? and? Passenger us? Princes, we need, we need y'all just to sit back here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what are you, like Dwayne Wade? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Dwayne Wayne is what he is. What? Wayne, Wayne Wayne? Wayne? From uh, 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 Wayne's Brothers? No, Mine Dwayne Wayne. Wayne was from, uh, uh, it's a different world, it's a different oh. world. Yeah, where you turn the chair around, be like, what's up ladies? And they're like, yeah, no, we're not interested. Not today. Not today, not today. This is how I sit when I'm DJing. This, this is how, but, but honestly, when you, are in, when you are in a relationship and you are on that grind, I mean, this guy said he's asexual, right? It's because you just worry about that money. It's the paper. like. People that are truly about that life, like, they are like, they about to get that money. Yeah. I heard very successful men tend to have very poor sexual relationships, end up getting prostitutes. That, think about what all their high-end prostitutes are for. I kind of heard or have seen that yeah. those type of men, like, like yeah. whip and chains and like kinky stuff like that. Because in every aspect of their life, they have to be here. Right. And so, so they want to be dominated so they can be like here. Have you ever oh. seen Fifty Shades of Grey? I've that? seen that, but I think I was reading, more or less, I read this book years ago, because um, I'm a reader. Um, I read this book about uh, human sexuality and, and the mental thought behind it. And it basically said that men who are very high achievers tend to want to have someone that puts them down a peg. And that's why they tend to go to these like dominatrix and stuff like that. Ooh, that making got decisions big every yeah. day, running a company, doing whatever. Yeah. Sometimes they want to. They want to feel like they're not in control. That makes sense. Like if you if you're in control of everything. <laughs> oh Lord, baby Jesus. Oh no, uh, uh, Nikki's getting jealous in the back because he's like, "That's my girl," but that ain't really his girl. So call. No, uh, call it. like I, don't call me because. <laughs> that was. I, but you know what I mean, like those dudes, and they pay good. They pay a lot of money, and again, it's always about control. They just, they just want to give up control. Now, some men are ultimate control freaks, and they're like, "Yo, I want my woman to be like at home at seven fifteen. She ain't got to work. She ain't got to do nothing. She just got to be home ready for me." And I'm like. All right, I mean, that's the way you want to do it. I've just never been like that. Even with my dudes or my girls, I've had them both. Um, you just don't. You just let them go and do their thing. Yeah. I think to each its own, you know, that lifestyle fits and suits some women, and some women like that, and then some women don't. Absolutely and not. I think everybody has a choice, and yeah. sometimes I think we look down at what people's preferences are, and we should respect them because your preference or her preference might not be the same as mine. Mm -hmm. I choose to work. I choose to be out the house. And if I ever do get into another relationship again, you know, it's like I will set expectation up front. You know, it's like being in a committed relationship, I am going to uh, respect those hours. Coming back at a decent hour if I'm going out with the girls or if I'm traveling, if I'm doing things on my own. But I don't think that anybody should set a time limit. You know, it's like I was married in the past and my ex provided and I was still able to go out 
with the girls and I was a grown woman so he did not set a curfew but I was respectful enough to come back home at a certain time that I felt was decent as a spouse and as a mother. I, I could never come home at a decent time. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I could. When I was younger, it was a different story. But as you get older... Yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. I mean, when, you, when you've got responsibilities. But I think my father never came home at a decent time. And he didn't cheat on my mom. He just didn't come home. He was always working. Yeah. I remember before and after Thanksgiving, we'd be all like, we'd be in the office yeah. working. That's just what we did. And I've learned that same system to this day. Where's your family from? Uh, New York, upstate. Bullshit. Upstate Buffalo. Rochester. Okay. I'm from Rochester. My mother went to RIT. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Whoop whoop. Arizona up here. Now in Texas. Yeah. (laughs) She's like, I I lived in Tempe for a little bit. Really? Yeah, I lived out in Tempe and Mesa. Me too. Did you? Phoenix, Tempe. Yeah. 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 No, I was there before then. What color are the cactuses? Cacti? Purple. <laughs> Thank you. No, then he didn't live in cacti. I meant to say cacti. Every time I look at Nikki, he throws me you, off. This, this is, uh, <laughs> it's the randomness. I'm like, yo, that's how you do know. I'm like, I'm like, this dude really smart, but he just really just be saying some shit. Be like, you mean cacti? Uh, uh, no, I, I'm with you. I'm with I mean, you. you know what? This is... To an obstacle in this space because, you know, I do have a speech impediment. I speak oh, English, so I speak Spanish, and I speak um, Spanglish. So sometimes my words get, you know. Oh, hey, listen, I can't speak that. Spanish. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know what I can do? <laughs> oh, see, you know, it's like, I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. I'm fine. Um, no, but I do speak English. But I'm just hyper aware of, like, just, just that kind of crap. But I also know that, like, I'm not like Joe Biden where I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I didn't mumble on purpose and then say, oh, it's my speech impediment. Nah, we just mumbled. I'm kidding, I don't mumble. I do. I mean, sometimes people do, or they say that I speak in cursive. Nikki always says that he can't hear me, but I think- Well, nobody can hear them. Like, Nikki and Digi and whatever the boy passed out in the back said, nobody can understand them. They talk loud. Because y'all be, y'all be, you all taper off on words. Mm -hmm. Like, you'll be having a conversation and then go, blah, 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 blah. I second that. Not necessarily wrong. It's just saying, like, you be talking and then you just go, Ugh. Yeah, because I can't hear you because Oh, my goodness. <laughs> As he drinks another Mike's Heart Lemonade. <laughs> After he slept on the dining room table. This dude be drinking Mike's Heart Lemonade, Happy Davies, and <laughs> while real men sit around and have real whiskey. You know what makes it funnier? Because you're doing that sideways. Yeah. <laughs> the little piece of hair in the back. So that kind of... Shut up. <laughs> moved with you. And you just, I discovered my own flaw and they're like focused on it. All right. So I was... I'm sorry. I was cutting my hair because I'm cheap. I don't go to a barber. Listen, when you start when you start doing the ball thing, you're like, screw it. I ain't paying yeah. somebody 25 bucks. Yeah. 40 yet. And apparently, like, I have the double mirror, and I missed the patch. <laughs> and I was the one who noticed it. So it was like a smile, right? So now I have a hat, and it, like, covers it perfectly, so you can't see it. But I took it off, and now everyone's like, look at that happy patch. <laughs> I don't care if y'all look at it. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I told you, you see it? You got a mustache in the front and the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> The landing strip. <laughs> it does. It looks like a Brazilian wax like job. Oh, like like a vajuhu? Yeah, one has It's a vajayjay on the back of my neck. I'm kidding. I'm not really. I'm just, I do a podcast about men, relationships, cryptocurrencies, and being a better human. One of the things we have to learn how to do is like be okay with our flaws. Yeah. Laugh at them, talk I about them, that. and then be like, "I love." It that. is what it is. It is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. Don't get yeah. your legs stretched. Yeah, don't exactly, <laughs> literally. Cool Although I think I do like stretching some legs. You know, oh, boy. 
Yeah, you can, yeah, get your legs stretched. Yeah, you just, <laughs> that, that right about here when they like this, you be, uh, I can't grab it like I used to. Damn, we all do have another cramp. Well, while Nikki's back here. So you guys know Nikki is a uh, part of the G Media team. Um, he doesn't actually do anything. Um, we tried to figure that out earlier. Um, Digi over there is also part of the team. Um, he's he's just here for the memes and the fun time. And then we've got a 12 year old sleeping in the back. Actually, he's like 25, but he had his first four loco and his brain ain't working too well. That's what happens. Oh, and I forgot about. Oh my God, is she still going? Oh, she's out. Oh yeah. Oof. I'll be she out. Been, like, yeah, she been sleepy. Yeah. Out like a light. Yeah. Slept through the night. Mm. Dgen Leslie is the best Leslie. Dgen, you know. D-Gen. What is Dgen? A degenerate. <laughs> it's like a degenerate oh, right. person. Look at right now. It's a degen, degenerate. Black hoodie, um, the glasses. 